Okay now, welcome to Freedom Sufferer Cards video number 91. And today, we'll be talking briefly about duty fees and opening some combat sports mail, I said. But before we start, I'd like to do a couple of shoutouts. First to Michael Myers, not the crazed murdering killer from the horror movies and not the comedian, although he could be scary or funny when he chooses to be. Big uh, through the mail guy, you will be seeing all kinds of autographs there with information on how much it costs to get the autographs. Plenty of them are free. It says when you send them a card or anything you would like autographed and they just sign it for you and send it back to you. Pretty awesome. All kinds of fun stuff there. So check him out. And sticking with the Michael, we got a Mike. Mike the car dude. This guy is also all kinds of fun. All kinds of mail days, giveaways. He has uh, submissions for his cards where he gets them graded. So those are always worth watching. Plus even I've seen uh, scam warnings. That's always fun. Got to know that no one wants to get scammed and you have an awesome goat, Elmer. You have to check out that goat. All kinds of fun there as well. So check out his channel. Both of their information will be in the link for the video description. Both links. So duty fees. I'll try to make this quick. I pre-recorded a video already with this, but since then more has come to my attention. And in this pre-recorded video, I stated that letter mail, it wouldn't matter, but that's not necessarily the case. So, I, uh, I got hit again with some duty fees twice in a week and a half. So, um, what I will say, again, I first and foremost am extremely grateful that anyone wants to send me anything. Get that out of the way. It's just, it's something I'm still not used to at, at how much kindness that people are just sending things to me for free. It's, it's really pretty amazing. But yeah, it's just hard to put into words what that means. But that aside, I do have to say, if you're sending a gift, whether it's a contest win or just a care package, please keep in mind that even as a gift, you first and foremost, anytime you have to fill out any values form whatsoever, if you're not filling out values form and it's just letter mail, a couple of cards, and it's just shipping it to me, no problem. But anytime you have to write the value there, make sure that you post that it is a gift. Because if not, they don't know the difference, and I get charged on purchases over 20 outside the EU. So, for example, if someone sends me a gift valued at 50, but it's not written as a gift, I'm going to get charged as a purchase. And even if it is a gift, you are apparently allowed up to 50 bucks. But just to be safe, keep that in mind. Um, the last one I got was valued pretty high. And it was listed as a merchandise, not a gift. But I would never do that. I would never buy something outside of the EU like that because it would just crush me. And that's why I don't have more boxes. I get what I can, when I can. But uh, yeah, I'm very limited in that regard. So it's okay in the end. I will get the money back. That's no problem. It's nobody's fault. People are just, just have to know what the rules are and it's all 100% legal just got to do it properly and uh, again I appreciate it all but that's just a heads up on the duties gifts are allowed up to 50 the lower the value that's written down the better and if I was to make a purchase that's up to 20 but that that's up to me so don't worry about the purchases just worry about that end of things, if you're sending a gift or a contest win, just keep that in mind to, to point out that it is a gift to win or something like that. A gift is the most important issue, so I don't get dinged up here. Okay, 
That's everything. Now we're going to cut in to the pre recorded video after the point of my duty fees intro. So, we'll do a little magic. Ah, sit down! It's time to open this mail. Now, they have their address on the back that I did not um, cross off, so I'm going to open this one off. Camera. Okay. What is this? What do we got here? Okay, I know what these are. This isn't a mystery to me, but... It's still gonna be cool oh, to open up, so I guess I should open one up first. Get two off screen. We have ourselves some stickers. All right, I said, got some boilies in there too. Classic Undertaker. These cost me 10 cents each. If I could remember. The YouTube name or the eBay name, I would share it. Roddy Rowdy Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Roddy Rowdy. Which order did it go? Bring uh, that right now. Legend Shawn Michaels. Heartbreak Kid. More Undertaker. I said. Rick, the Nature Boy, Power Flair. What the heck? What the heck is this? These are cool this retros. What? What? Stone Cold Steve Austin dropping the what's like there's no tomorrow. Oh, I see a pretty big man behind that. I said. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's more warrior. It's not, it's not warrior time. He had a very uh, interesting voice, too. I would have to really work on Andre. Before. Oh, I'll go good. Look at this intensity. I look not into the light, I'll go good of the past, but dwell instead on the darkness of the future, I'll go good. As the grains of sand go through your normal hourglass, I can feel it, I'll go good. I can feel that I have been chosen. Chosen to lead my warriors into the darkness, Hulk Hogan, without fear. Chosen to unleash the surging power pulsing in my veins, Hulk Hogan, to strike down the power of all the little warriors through your soul. Ooh, yeah, you hear that? All the way down, yeah. I'll go good. Royal Rumble. Foily. Foily time. What? Stone Cold Foily. Well, what do we got here? Some shiny Excellence of execution. Yes, there is. Still. Bret Hart. So what's best there ever will be? Taking souls, digging holes. Ooh yeah. Look at this brilliant WrestleMania one boiling. WrestleMania seven. Boily. These are very Boily. cool. Boily. Oh, the Warrior and Hogan, or Warrior Boily. and Savage, you know what 
WrestleMania 7 was about. Try not to think about that. All the elbow drops and Warrior just gets up like it's nothing. Yeah. Ultimate fitness. Yep, yep. Retirement match. Now let us go to number two, shall we? There should only be two cards in here. And it has to do with combat, sports, but a different end of it. Shall we just go like this? Oh, I said, I said, Sean O'Malley autograph. We got ourselves some ink. I said, gold. And on the back, and on the back. <laughs> Former champion as of last week, Stipe Miocic. Autograph. I said. Art signed. Both. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. I said. Sean O'Malley, big things in his future. His only loss came from a leg malfunction, we will call it. Awesome. That was great. I had a great time. Please don't forget to check out the two shoutouts. Don't forget to check out the duty information. If you have any questions, email me. I, can, I hope that this week continues like this and the mail keeps coming in because this has been much better than last week's mail. And I'll see you guys soon. Oh yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Almost forgot that. And I'll see you guys soon. Real soon. Please